Now today's topic is tuning the end pin and this is my Opus 15 violin. There's our end pin. It's got a French eye you'll see. And this frequency according to our tap tone survey which we did it says in pin 172 we want it to be 176 let's check that there's our uh, 176 frequency goal for this part and a lot of the other parts those are 172 here we're going to need just a few extra tools. There's an automatic center punch. Basically you uh, push this spring down and then it comes to a point and it shoots forward. So that's for establishing the center. This is a drill number set. A number drill set which comes out of uh, probably machine working. And let's just pick something about right here. Okay, notice I'm wearing safety glasses. If you're work, working around drills, it's a real good idea. And I've got a... Huh. Okay, got set on high speed setting. <laughs> it's a little bit of a big drill, but it's the one I've got. Okay, so... First thing we're going to do is use our automatic center punch. And we're going to punch right in the center of our end pin. As you support the violin with your legs. A carpenter's awl or a small punch would work too. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to drill direct, <coughs> excuse me, directly down. You got to go straight. And we're going to go down about, um, oh, maybe a third of an inch to start with. Here a little. Okay, so I've just drilled a small hole here. Let's see what we took out. And let's see where we're at. Again, I'll stop the strings with the fingers. We're just tapping down on the center of the end pin. So we're just about 175. I have only a tiny little bit to go. So we just go a slight bit further than we are. You don't want to drill all the way through though. Um, if you get go down a ways and you're concerned you're getting almost going through the end pin to the inside, switch to a larger drill. And this actually is a number um, 23, number 23 drill. It's not a bad place to start. took just a little bit. Okay, let's see where we're at. Bracketing 176, a little lower. So, say it's in between, must be 176. Now there's one further step we need to make for the end pin. You notice the tail gut of the tailpiece tail gut comes down and goes around each side of the end pin. Well these actually have their own frequency. So you just tap down in the contact area where the tail gut touches the end pin. Okay, so this one's lower than that one. So if you listen, listen on. So the end pin will be the average of these two. Which means that if this is right, that one's too high and this one's too low. So what we're going to do, the one that's too high, we're going to just take a little material off the side of the end pin that's too high. So I just file on the side here. A few strokes with a file, we're only talking about a couple hertz probably. Right. 
and the side that's too low, we're going to file or with our knife or a little exacto knife, we're going to take a little material off on the side of that hole on the direction that it's too low and that will raise it up. Okay, it's too low on this side. Okay, in this case it's a, actually a little brass tube I'm working on because it was a French eye. But, <laughs> we'll carve that too. Now they all three are in agreement, which is what we want. Cal bracket, 176, lower, higher, sounds lower, sounds higher. So we're uh, right in sync now with where we want to be. So center the back tap. Sounds neither higher nor lower, even though they're different frequencies. Yet they, they're in sync. Okay, so that's uh, that's tuning the in pin, and uh, it's all there is to it. This is really important for having a clear tone, and it's important with the remember we match the tailgate coming across the saddle, and the tailgate now on the in pin. So that's all in sync now. That's all there is to it. Okay.